Elon Musk is known for saying and doing a lot of weird things, and if you follow him on Twitter, then you probably know what I'm talking about, but you also have to give the man full credit for his work in the fields of space exploration, engineering, and maybe some other industries that you might know him better for, but you might also know that he really likes to set some unattainable goals for himself and for his teams at Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, and many other companies that I guess he could be working on at the moment. And with that in mind, you also probably know that the Tesla Roadster didn't get released in 2020, and I guess that's also partly because of the human malware, but also combined with Elon's unattainable goals and his um, unattainable deadlines at the same time, that kind of worked against us, I guess. Either way, I'm not a car channel and I don't really talk about cars that much over here. I much rather talk about the tech inside of cars and that's exactly what I will be doing in this video. And uh, the Tesla Model S is going to be refreshed according to Elon Musk and we have seen some pictures, but courtesy of video cards, I would like to tell you more about how this car might actually be able to play Cyberpunk 2077 despite only seeing The Witcher 3 right here in the pictures from Tesla. Now I'm kind of thinking back at the meme with his face in Cyberpunk but this car is going to feature an RDNA 2 GPU apparently which according to video cards is most likely going to be the Navi 23 GPU so perhaps the RX 6500. We also know that it will have 10 teraflops and 32 compute units, which in turn would give us about 2.44 GHz as a clock speed. And theoretically, if this is going to be paired with an equally good CPU, then we might actually see this outperform the newly released consoles or maybe the Xbox Series S because the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X still have really decent uh, specs. Now, of course, it also seems that we're living in a meme-tastic society where kind of things like this, like playing Cyberpunk 2077 inside of your car, uh, are going to happen, but also game stonks, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm going to tell you to go out and check out the video that Martin is going to be doing on the Friday checkout, and we really convinced him to uh, do that on our crowd Discord server, so if you guys are interested in that, then definitely check out the links in the video description, because I don't really have much to say about how the car looks like, because like I was saying, I'm not a car channel, I'd much rather uh, enjoy talking about the technology that goes into making or you know the technology inside of these cars but if you guys would like to talk about this in the comments then i'm definitely going to join you otherwise join us on our crowd discord server like i said now what I know you guys would like to hear more about is the RTX 3000 mobile GPUs and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about because MSI just had their live stream where they have shown us the TGPs for all of their laptops that they are going to be releasing because not all of them are out as far as I know. Now you're going to be able to see the exact TGPs on screen right now but I have also included this in the file that I'm working on uh, showing you guys all of the reviews surrounding the RTX 3000 mobile GPUs and I really recommend you guys check it out if you would like to get a good idea at um, how all of these laptops are going to perform because if you remember I told you that the RTX 3000 mobile GPUs or the laptops that are going to be released are going to be really confusing and speaking of that I have a video talking about it which you can check out following the links in the video description as well but uh, I would also like to tell you because I didn't do this a couple of days ago when I first um, saw it um, NVIDIA is pretty much working on 20 or 20 plus GPUs for the RTX 3000 mobile and it's really confusing especially if you are a new um, customer and you don't really know a lot about tech and honestly I feel a little bit uh, flabbergasted myself looking at all of those things but that's mainly because of the difference in TGP, clock speeds, different memory bus bandwidths and the speeds that it has as well as the difference in FP32 counts and I know the word of the day in this video seems to be confusion, but like I was saying, if you would like to learn more about all of those things, then definitely check out the links in the video description where if you are a new person watching my videos, I post a lot of useful things, so I'd really recommend you check that out. Now, what I would also be interested in finding out some more about is whether Intel is finally going to be bringing their 8-core and 16-thread Tiger Lake H CPUs to the market because they've only uh, brought the 4-core and 8-thread uh, 
version to the laptops right now. And according to XMG and Dr. Ian Cutris from Anantec, they are indeed going to be bringing it sometime in um, the second quarter. And um, XMG also said that you could expect that they are going to be um, bringing the um, Tiger Lake H CPUs, and I'm talking about the 8 core 16 thread version, of course, um, to their laptops because they are going to be phasing out Comet Lake H CPUs, which we have also seen on a lot of laptops which have released right now. And I guess that is good news, but what is not really good news is in Intel's 11900KF being able to, or rather reaching 98 degrees Celsius, because I don't think you would want to get to that temperature uh, on your CPU, but that has also been done on a 360 AIO. And quite honestly, I really hope that this has been just someone like uh, the guy from The Verge who tested it without a screw, so with three screws instead of four, because if this is the temperature that we're going to be getting uh, out of this chip and like whenever we're going to be playing games or I don't know, doing uh, CPU intensive workloads, that is going to be really tragic. And of course, Intel is also bringing out the 10 nanometer Alder Lake CPU. So I don't really understand why we're also getting this release. It really feels weird to me, but if you would like to learn more about uh, Intel's 10 nanometer CPU, uh, which is allegedly going to come out in September, then I am going to have a video on that on my channel. So again, check out the links in the video description. And I guess that's pretty much all that I have for today. Let me know in the comments what you think about uh, the things that are going on with Tesla, with Intel, with AMD maybe, because I also forgot to tell you that, but you probably know all of this if you watched my previous videos, we're almost probably going to see an RDNA 2 based um, GPU in the um, second half of 2021 as well. And I'm really excited about that one. So if you are excited about that one as well, then definitely stay tuned for more videos from me. I really thank you guys for watching and I'll see you hopefully in another video. Bye-bye.